All right, so we are ready to add some detail to the other side here. I'm going to turn my canvas back on and we'll do an edit canvas. I'm going to select the image and now we'll go to side 01. Hit OK. So you can see it lines up perfectly because the, the images are so close together. And the first thing I'll do is take this uh, slot cut out here. So we'll go to sketch and then create sketch. Click on the plane there. And I'm going to go to sketch and slot and we'll do a center to center slot. So I'm going to start about there and it kind of doesn't matter where I end just as long as it's kind of off the geo. And then I can go ahead and give it a little bit of, uh, of thickness according to what the, uh, the concept there dictates. And you know in this case because I'm going to be making the negative as a, as a cut off of the surface down in. I'm going to redo this and uh, have this be my, my sketch plane. So we'll do sketch and then uh, create sketch. Grab that plane there. I'm going to go ahead and just do a drag select on the whole thing and delete it. Oh, I need to uh, update my canvas as well. Looks like I undid a little bit too far there. It's no big deal. All right, so uh, hit OK there and sketch and we'll do a slot center to center slot and I'm gonna click inside there once again just kinda go through this process All right, and we hit OK and stop sketch so now it's gonna be sitting directly on that outside surface which is what we're looking for and as far as the the depth of that cut we're just gonna have to kinda guess I'll do a press pull and we know it doesn't go all the way through, but that is where the flex here, actually, let me look at the reference. There may be some indication of how thick that is. I don't think I've got a shot. There it is. Okay, that's convenient. So eh, let's say about 60% in, which is, yeah, not too far. Okay. And in that same reference, let me come back over and uh, we'll look at the detail here. Or the side shot, I suppose, side one. So we'll just go ahead and, and round that out and then we'll punch that hole right there. But this outside surface here, that's still pretty sharp. So I'm going to grab these guys. Now this, because it's a fillet operation, I can actually enter fillet mode and then click on the whole thing and actually that worked a little bit easier than I expected to. So one uh, one millimeter there for that that radius I think is, is perfect. We'll just hit OK. And now I'm going to go ahead and, and make this additional uh, cylindrical cut there. So we can go to create and cylinder and it knows where that where this thing's center is which makes this much much easier so I can just go ahead draw that out and this is going to punch all the way through. So let me just make sure we we'll go to the top view. Actually the bottom view will be fine here and that's all I'm looking for. I just want to make sure that I, I see that red on the outside surface. I'm going to hit OK. And even though it looks a little bit kind of crunchy in here in the actual geometry it'll look it'll look nice and round. And now we need to make this cut there and it's a little bit confusing, let me hide my geometry here, because we don't get to see whether or not there is a cut there, but I'm going to assume there is because it, it kind of does look like there's a little bit of that feature going through. So I'm going to cut this all the way through. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's turn the, uh, actually we can do this with the, the, uh, without the body showing. So I'm going to go sketch, we'll make a new sketch. And uh, make a line and the line is going to go on the outside here and I'll make another line, repeat line from there all the way to there and now I think just by clicking these two uh, lines here I can go to sketch and then offset and just kind of do a drag out and this will save some time and keep these thicknesses consistent. And now I can just go ahead and connect these two. And then I can connect these two. And that's going to be done. So I'll hit stop sketch. And let's show our bodies again. 
So we can go ahead and do a press pull and just make sure that that goes all the way through that surface there. And now let's go ahead and cut these uh, screw holes in. I'm going to hold off on this one because it's going to go all the way through that piece of blue plastic. But the rest of these just go in a little tiny bit. And these features I believe we should be able to, to uh, clone to the other side. So I'll make a cylinder on that. Uh, and I just clicked this outside surface here. Actually, I think I went into sketch mode for some reason. Let me try. That might be the def uh, default behavior, but let me just confirm. So create and then cylinder and then there. Yeah, so we're in a sketch. That's fine. So I'm going to go to the left, uh, left view here. Zoom in a bit. And for this one, we're going to go in. It honestly doesn't, it, it's probably countersunk or something. So like it'll go in a little bit and then the screw is connecting to some some form in here but all we really need is a hole that we can then put that kind of a uh, that uh, little bolt in there so that's probably fine and the diameter of that is two millimeters so i'm going to zoom out and uh, it looks like this is probably going to be approximately the same diameter but you know we don't really have to guess we can just follow the reference so cylinder it's going to be on this surface i'm going to do a little click and drag and then we'll go in, I think we went in two millimeters. Yeah. And we'll do that one more time over here. So, and it's getting really close. In fact, it actually goes into that chamfer a little bit, which isn't a big deal. Uh, we'll just draw this out. Doesn't look like I quite I cancel that. I'm going to try that one more time. I don't think I, I quite nailed the center. So click and drag. Once again, now that might just be a little bit of, a, of an issue with the, the viewing angle. And we'll go in two millimeters. So it's a little weird to me that that's crossing over that. I'm actually going to check the reference to make sure that's what's happening there. Yeah, so that actually looks fine. Uh, that might be uh, a little bit of an artifact from my my photoshopage. Yeah, so I'm going to actually bring that in because that chamfer should be, that, that outer chamfer should be preserved. So we'll just hit undo. And modify, uh, create a cylinder. And I'll just kind of draw something like that. And we'll go in two millimeters. All right, so now let's go ahead and grab all of these little features here because they are actually on both sides. Both sides of this uh, handle have the same position and the same, uh, the same cut there. And we'll do a, uh, a create mirror. So the objects, pattern type, pattern faces, and for the mirror plane, we'll go ahead and grab the work plane, hit OK. Got a problem with some of that, I'm not real sure why. It seems like it should have worked, let's try it again. Let's maybe do one at a time here, just to see if we can figure out what the issue might be. Well, I'm done like that one. Try this one here. We'll do a mirror, and then for the selection, we'll grab the work plane. Huh. Very interesting. Well, just for the last one, try this one, and then uh, I may just uh, go ahead and repeat those offline. It's not very difficult to do. And every now and again, you run into these issues where it's I think it should totally work, but there's just something about it. Maybe because the surfaces are so different. Yeah, that's probably what it is, because this, this circular cut is there, and it's just like it doesn't exactly know what it is that I'm looking for. But what I can probably do here is do a press pull on all of these surfaces and then just run that straight on through. 
and I'm going to turn the canvas off. Did that work? Nope. All right, no big deal. Let me undo that. Uh, I'll go through uh, offline and uh, and create those features on the other side. And in the next video, you will see you will definitely see these cuts. And then we'll go ahead and build this little clip thing here, and uh, then maybe look at doing some um, some final filleting here to round out some of these forms.